What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Today we're going to do a walk around video of the Mitsubishi Evo that I just wrapped in frozen black with vivid tech art gloss carbon fiber accents. Uh, the mirrors, the hood scoop, and the lower rocker panels are wrapped in vivid tech art carbon fiber. Uh, that gives it a realistic look to go with the spoiler that goes with the car. Uh, that thing was just added on, I guess. This car came in really rough shape. Uh, normally I don't wrap cars this old. This is about a nine year old car, eight, nine year old car. Um, so there's a lot of rust spots, uh, especially around the bottoms of these doors, really, really bad. Uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of stone chips. Uh, the paint was flaking off the front bumper. I had to sand it down. Uh, what else? So there's just a, just a lot of problems, especially when we start getting into older cars, there becomes a bit of liability there when we are taking them apart. Uh, I actually broke every single one of these clips across the drip sill. Uh, trim pieces are along the roof there. That cost me $110 to replace all those. Uh, there was 14 of them. Uh, a couple didn't break, but I just went and got all new ones. Why not? Uh, so again, with wrapping older vehicles, there comes a bit of liability. At the same time, it, it can also only be so perfect. Uh, you know, I you know did the best possible job that I could do. Now guys, this car is a 2012. Um, normally I don't wrap vehicles this old, but the, the car is in decent condition, okay? We're gonna look through uh, all the imperfections in the paint, and then we're gonna show you what this actually looks like when it's finished. Uh, because I get asked this question a lot of times, you know, how is it to wrap over you know, imperfections? That's, that's not it here, but right here, you know, we have some stone chips. Uh, on the bottom of the door, there is rust, okay? We can clearly see that. This is probably going to seep through eventually uh, as far as the wrap goes. Uh, not, that, not the end of the world, the door could be um, refinished by a body shop and then we could rewrap it again later. It's not the hardest part of the car to, to wrap, that's for sure. It's easier. The, uh, all these little imperfections and stuff like that that are in the paint. There's stuff all over the place, okay? So we're gonna have a look at all this. Look at, look at the condition of the rear bumper. It's, it's got like a lot of micro cracks and stuff like that. Not really in great shape either. Not the worst that I've seen. There's a massive scuff mark here on the passenger side. How is the profile? I can feel that. We're gonna see what everything looks like again once we wrap over it uh, because this will give you a good idea on what it's like to wrap over a car that's less than perfect. Especially an eight year old car, eight or nine years old now. Um, you know, all in here and stuff like that. You know, it's not, this stuff is not great. Uh, lots of stone chips and things like that on the hood, as far as all this stuff goes. Right here, 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 here. Tons and tons of little specks. I'm not going to refinish any of this stuff before I wrap it. This is just the nature of the beast and is, is what it is. Lots of stone chips though. So keep in mind what this looks like now and what it will look like after. We'll go over all those areas. Uh, lots and lots of cleaning is involved. You know, if you guys are looking for those videos on how to dismantle a car like this, obviously without breaking the roof <laughs> to drip soap clips on the top, those just became old. But check out my website, ckwraps.com. I'll put a link in the top corner and in the description below for you. I've pretty much got every single panel of this vehicle wrapped, uh, videotaped. So 4K footage. So if you find that you're getting air bunched up in this area, which was what will happen with a pressure of the film that's not pressure sensitive, lift the area up, tack it to the window. Up close and personal with the camera. Uh, that, those, video, those videos will be going up very shortly uh, in the next few weeks or so. As soon as I get around to editing them, editing them and getting them up for you on my website. Again, link in the top corner and in the description below for you. There's also open forum and discussion there. And we're giving away one month free to new subscribers. Check it out. Uh, let's go for a tour of this vehicle right here. Again, it was white. Uh, you know, it's, it's wrapped all the way through. There's no white showing in anywhere that I could pretty much reach. Um, so even wrap this little bit right here. You know, we're, in, we're into the door jam a bit just so we don't see anything from the exterior. This didn't close properly. Um, the roof was opened, obviously. Everything was removed and uh, it looks very good. We've covered about 95% of the white, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Uh, again, there's some areas that you're gonna see white through, like in here. I'm not gonna wrap all the hinges and all the bolts and everything that's going on in here because it's not paying for it. I'm not gonna wrap inside the trunk and I'm not gonna wrap inside under the hood 
because again, they're not paying for it. With enough money and enough time, you can get anything wrapped for sure. It just takes time and money. Uh, we have to kind of draw this off at a certain point when it doesn't become feasible anymore. Anyways, let's go have a look at the car and see what it looks like. Uh, front bumper was uh, repainted, or I don't even believe it's actually um, original. I don't know, I could be wrong. So you can see that there's overspray right there on the very bottom. Now, if you guys are looking to understand where I did my seams and my inlays and stuff like that, those videos will only be on the website. Uh, this part right here is like all flaked, it's all, it's all stone chipped. That grill, I mean, it is what it is. I guess it was white to begin with. I honestly have no idea. Uh, there's the hood scoop right there, wrapped in Vivid Tech Art, gloss carbon fiber, looks nice. These are just, I guess they painted the vents black, gloss black. Uh, really even down in the, ape, in the pillar, behind the fender, no white showing. Here's our mirror wrapped in Vivid Tech Art, carbon fiber as well. All along the roof, everything looks nice and clean. Uh, there was a lot of rust actually building up along here. Again, this is not normally a car that I would wrap because of the liability that's involved. Again, as long as the customer knows what could happen over time, then, you know, and, and you accept that you could break a few clips taking it apart, not the end of the world. Uh, this bumper here, again, you can check all that out right there. It looks really nice. I one pieced the entire inside uh, area. I don't think anyone's really ever done that. I don't know if I can open that right now. No, maybe I'll open it up for you guys just to show you. Give me one second. Let's check it out. Spoiler's quite heavy, so I have to be very careful. All right, so that's all one piece all the way through. Let's drop that down. Cool. Let's check it out over here. We'll get it outside also so you can see what it looks like. Uh, I didn't show you the lower rocker panel yet. This side is, is broken, so it's not fitting very well uh, right at the top here. Some things like these plastics and stuff like that aren't fitting very well. Um, the bumper came in actually zip tied on. I had some extra clips, so I threw them in there, made it a little bit nicer. Again, everything was remo removed. This piece, uh, even the mirror cap was removed to wrap around it really nicely. A lot of stuff was taken off of this car. Side vents, side marker was all removed, headlights were removed. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, here's the lower rocker panel. I think it adds a little nice, nice little flare to the, uh, to the car itself. Looks good, right? Let's check it out outside. Here it is outside. I know you guys get upset with me when I don't show you cars outside, so here it is. Uh, I'm gonna start bringing cars out way more often outside so you can see inside versus outside. Looks great out here. We've got a nice sunny, nice sunny day. Um, we're gonna have a little walk around of it outside, see what it looks like out here as far as, you know, being able to see any white showing through edges and stuff like that. Guys, call me out if you can see it. Uh, it's a big transformation from white to black, so it's pretty much the opposite color. Let's check it out right now. Now, as far as maintaining a wrap like this goes, uh, customer series is asking about it. Very low maintenance, satin black. It doesn't require a lot. Just regular washing by hand is probably the best thing to do. Um, automatic car washes are never good for your car, whether it's paint or, um, you know, or wrap. It's not a good idea. It's got a lot of coverage on it. We've got a lot of hiding all the white. Let's check it out from this side over here. Sun's more, sun's pretty much coming in from the left side. Yeah, from the driver's side there. It's looking really good. Let me know what you think about the color on the car. Um, again, paint was in rough shape. And you know, as you can see, like when we look at this and look at the carbon fiber out here, it looks amazing. In the sun, it just really, it really shines. Um, but yeah, you know, the hood was, you know, in, in a lot, in a really ba bad shape, lots of stone chips, things like that. So for those of you who have been asking, you know, can you wrap over, you know, a car that's not perfect? I mean, you check it out, let me know. I didn't sand any of this down. You know, there's, there are spots, you can see them here and there, but it looks a lot better than it did because what's going on now is that the color 
is one color again. There aren't stone chips showing, you know, the primer or the bare metal underneath or the plastic. You know, it looks tremendously better, especially down here. Like down here is super bad. Um, and it looks way, way, way better. Again, like I said, this clip's broken over here, so you can see there's some two-sided tape in there. Uh, nothing I can do about that, but yeah, the paint, the car itself, the finish on it, it looks more pure now. Because now again, we're, we're, we're looking at one solid color. Uh, there's some damage that was down here. Again, that looks a lot better too. You can barely see that. It's very minor. Overall, aesthetically, the car looks great. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it as far as the walk around goes inside and outside. Uh, again, showing you the before and the after of you know the paint condition versus now what it looks like with the wrap on it. 100 times better. Uh, car, color suits the car really well. Gloss carbon fiber accents look amazing with it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's your frozen black on the Mitsubishi Evo. And it looks amazing. Guys, again, those how-to videos on my website, ckraps.com. Again, link in the top corner and the description below. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. Take care.